the warthog. Jaha stands alert, her eyes fixed on the nearby trees that skirt the long undulating grasses of the savannah. A lone tree squirrel darts into leafy shadows, and an impala leaps swiftly over shrubs to join her fast disappearing herd. Roused by the sudden disturbance, Jaha grunts a warning to her young of the danger that lurks nearby. Following the sow's directive, the piglets stop short their tusk wrestling, and with their eyes latched onto their mother's upright tail, run for the safety of a nearby burrow. The spirited youngsters find excitement in the chase, though their mother, urging them on, will not forget the heartbreak of losing her only son to the powerful grip of a lioness's jaws. Whilst the babies scurry headfirst into the entrance to the tunnel, Jaha's rump leads the rest of her hairless grey bulk backward into the hole. This way, her pair of protruding curved tusks are ready to tear out the eye of a hungry, daring cheetah. Knowing her babies are safely huddled together in their chamber deep underground, Jaha furtively pokes her nose above ground to probe her surroundings. Luckily, the solitary cheetah has lost its appetite for confrontation, and after marking the territory in a defiant act of frustration and displeasure, vanishes from sight. At last, Jaha guides her family back to the rich pickings of the grassland. Warthogs are omnivores, and although they mostly eat grass seeds and nutrient-rich tubers, their eight-hour-a-day feast may include insects, snails, worms, and the remains of small mammals. In order to get close to the stem of the lush grass stalks, Jaha must kneel down to walk on her front knees. This is a lot easier than trying to bend her short, thick neck. Fortunately, the warthog's knees are hard skinned, so moving in this manner is not painful. While she enjoys a 20 minute break to restore her milk reserves, Jaha's sister, Wanyika, offers to nurse the babies in her place. In the late afternoon, the sound of warthogs seek relief from the intense summer heat and biting insects by rolling about in the cool mud pools. Then, as dusk descends on the African plains, Jaha leads her family back to the warmth and safety of the overnight burrow, where they will sleep together. However, Jaha must remain vigilant throughout the long night, for despite their deep hideaway, she knows her brood is still vulnerable to attack from their most feared of all predators the lion.